Cricket, presented by Group 1. Origin and History of Cricket The earliest reference of the game spelled its name as cricket. The name may have been derived from the Middle Dutch crick, meaning a stick, or the Old English crick or cris, meaning a crutch or staff, or the French word criquet, meaning a wooden post. The first recorded evidence of cricket being played in Hong Kong dates back to 1841. This occurred when Hong Kong became a colony of the British Empire when the First Opium War happened. The Hong Kong Cricket Club was then formed on June 1851. The Hong Kong cricket team was then established with its first intercourt match against Shanghai in 1866. Since 1969, they've been an associate member of the International Cricket Council. Number of Players In the variation of cricket known as Hong Kong Cricket Sixes, the games are played between two teams of six players, and each game consists of a maximum of five six-ball overs balled by each side, eight ball overs in the final match. The Objectives of the Game Cricket one team bats trying to score as many runs as possible while the other team balls and field trying to dismiss the batsman and thus limit the runs scored by the batting team. The main objective in cricket is to score as many runs as possible against the opponent. Before the match begins, the captain of both teams will toss a coin with the winner of the toss being able to decide which team bats and fields first. The winner in a game of cricket is the team that has for the most runs during their time batting. Layout of the game cricket A circular cricket field is considered as the perfect field but generally a cricket pitch is low, slightly oval. Its diameter varies between 137 meter and 150 meter. The ICC test match standard playing conditions as of October 2014 Law 19.1 defines the playing area as a minimum of 137.16 meter from boundary to boundary square of the pitch. With a shorter of the two square boundaries, a minimum of 59.43 meter, the straight boundary at both ends of the pitch is a minimum of 64 meter. Distances are measured from the center of the pitch. Boundaries are not to exceed 82.29 meter from the center of the pitch. All boundaries are mar marked by a rope or similar object as per the ICC rules. The rope has a required minimum distance of 2.74 meter inside the perimeter fencing or advertising signs. For grounds with a large playing area, the maximum length of boundary should be used before applying the minimum 3 yards or 2.74 meter between the boundary and the fence. When marking a cricket playing field, buffer distance, distances between cricket ground boundaries in relation to other park infrastructure, including car parks, roadways, neighboring properties, and playgrounds need to be considered. Buffer distances of between 20 to 40 meters from boundaries are preferable to reduce risk of damage to park users and property. The infield, outfield, and the closed infield are used to enforce field restrictions and or safety zones for some game formats formats and age group. Two semicircles with a radius of 27.43 meters are drawn in the field of play. The center of these circles in the middle stamp at either end of the pitch. The circles are marked by continuous pointed white lines or dots at 4.57 meter intervals. Each dot to covered by a white plastic or rubber disc measuring 80 centimeters in diameter. Two inner circles with a radius of 13.72 meters are also drawn on the field of play. The center of the circles is the center point of the popping crease at either end of the pitch. These areas are also marked with dots. This is the example of the layout field of the game cricket. Next is the materials of cricket. First is the cricket bag. Second is the batting leg guards, also known as pads. Third is the batting gloves. Fourth is thigh guard or lower body protector. Next is the abdominal protector or the box and the batting helmet. Greetings everyone. My name is Shani Dinarseo from STEM Gals and I am here to present to you the rules and values of cricket. First, we will discuss the rules of cricket. Games comprise or cricket is a game comprised of at least one 
winning, where each team will take turns in batting and fielding or bowling. Now the fielding team will have a bowler bowl the ball to the batsman who tries to hit the ball with their bat. The fielding team tries to get the batsman out through the following. First, it could be hitting the wickets with a ball when bowling. Next could be catching a batsman's shot on the full or it could also be hitting the batsman's leg in front of the wicket or LW or LBW, sorry. And it could also be hitting the wickets before the batsman can run to the other end of the pitch. Next will be, next will be the batsman try to score as many runs as possible before getting out through the following or through the following hitting the ball and running between the wickets and making it to the other end before the fielders can hit the wickets with the ball. It could also be hitting the ball to the boundary along the ground is four runs, and we have to take note of that. Hitting the ball over the boundary on the full is equal to six runs. Next rule is that the fielding team must get 10 batsmen out before they can change over and start batting. Next. We will discuss the values of cricket. Cricket needs a good hand-eye coordination and it will also um, enhance uh, the hand-eye coordination of the player. It also needed the ability to throw and catch a ball, good batting and bowling technique and also the ability to concentrate for sometimes long periods of time. Optimism is being positive, thinking of a good thing or a good outcome over something. Hard work, of course, it will be needed. Honesty, fairness, and respect for others. That will be all. Again, I am Shani Dinarseo from Stam Gals. Thank you for listening.